Smile. 
Good morning, everyone, and blessed Christmas to you. Yes, all of you that are joining us this morning. Now, I'd like all of you to quickly at the chat group to type out your name. Let's do a shout out. Let's welcome everyone at this wonderful service. Yes, welcome to our very own YM Christmas service. And for you that are joining us for the very first time, a very big welcome to you. Now, I hope that all of you are as excited as I am because we are all gathered here to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, do stick together with us for the entire service because we have planned a lot of things and one of it is a very exciting brand new YM production that's going to be shown shortly. And now let's invite all of us to rise to our feet and let's worship and lean into God as we want to expect great things from Him. Good morning, YM. A very Merry Christmas to you. Um, and to begin Christmas, there's no better way to begin Christmas than with worship. So why don't you stand and jump along and sing along with us. Come on. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. and continue to worship the King of Kings. With one voice, let's sing this together. Hark the Herald. 
Amen and amen. Wasn't that a wonderful time of worship that we had? Now I believe that God has more great things in store for us. Now next, we are going to be showing our very own brand new YM production that is the short film. Let's open our hearts and be excited and with expectant hearts for God to speak to us. And after that, we are going to have Pastor Rachel to share with us with a word of encouragement. Yo, 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 in front, 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 front, take cover, take cover. Sam, I'm home. Come help me with the groceries. Shoo, 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 oi, oi, oi. Go, come on. Kill him lah. Right, 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 right. Plant, 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 plant. Why is the house so messy? There ain't one in the world, man. I told you to push left. There are guys everywhere. It's so simple. If you push left, you're gonna backstab them for the win. Come on, lah. Sam, are you playing games? Come and help me. Derek, hello, can you hear me? Derek, Derek. Dad, do you have the Wi-Fi? I'm playing with my friends. Just let me play, please. Playing? You should be studying for your exams. Look, I know we, things are different now, but mom wouldn't want us to- What? Mom's not here. Before the two of you spill any tea, are we still having classes online? Yeah, last time online, now also online. This lockdown very sad, no? Yeah, man, I don't think I'll be seeing you guys again, I guess. Well, at least I don't have to see your face. Well, I'll see until like that. But actually, huh, can save money. College was so expensive. I mean, good for you guys. I mean, you guys are at home and not stuck on campus. I don't even know whether I can get back home. What's 
stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. You're going down, man. Where's the ball thing? Man? Nearly there. Yes. No, no, yes. No. Yes. Finish him. Yes. Whoa. Not there. Yeah, man. You're at my house. Why are you so noob? Come on. Let's play again. Okay. Hey, Christmas coming already. Do you have any plans? Christmas, uh? Mm, not really. What about you? Hmm, it's so quiet this year. I don't know. Probably just spend some time with my family, you know. Hey, how's your work? Um, I'm not really sure. They keep saying that they're going to announce something, but so far there's no news yet. Uh, so I don't know what's going on actually. But at least now, still got pay, can buy presents lah. <laughs> Bro, the company not doing well eh. I think you should probably look for a backup, you know. Things are not really that easy right now. Ciao man. Hey, buy me present lah. Hey, wear your mask, wear your mask. Dear 2020, I don't know what to make out of you. You're horrible. At first, I was happy that I got to stay home from school. But now, Dad can't stop nagging me. <sighs> I really miss Mum. They say that Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. With presents, food, and just being around people you love. I guess it makes for a good way to end the year. But with everything happening and all that's still going on, do we even need to celebrate Christmas? First, you took away my job, then you cancelled all my parties, and now you forced all of us to social distance? When Christmas is about being around the people you love, what's the point of all this? Hey, what's up TikTok? I'm be real with y'all. I sometimes think my life is a mess. Not gonna lie, I may have the cash, the condos, the cars, but I question my life too. I question myself. Is life just about studying hard, getting a good job, you know, and just trying to have a good life? But the truth is fam, Jesus came to bring meaning to life. God loves you and me so much that He gave His only Son to be among us so that we can be among Him. And Christmas, it's not just about the food, the gifts, the holidays, the people, the parties. It's actually about Jesus being with us. Because He came to be with us and we have a reason to live and we have hope again in this life. So don't think your life is wasted. Don't think your life is useless. You have a purpose, I. Right? You have a purpose. So don't give up. The best is yet to come. Peace out. Dear 2020, I don't know what to make out of you. You're so weird, man. But I guess I learned some stuff. I learned that the internet is terrible. But also, I'm learning to be more responsible. And helping dad around the house is important too. So, maybe I'm not all by myself. I still have family and friends who still care for me. And yeah, they're not physically there, but I know they're there there. <laughs> so, I choose to be thankful. 
I don't have a job now. Yeah, things look really different and it's hard, but I know I'm gonna be okay. I guess still with everything that happened, hope is never lost. Blessed Christmas to all of you and thank you for joining us this morning and I'm thankful that even though we can't meet physically but with this online platform make it possible that we can celebrate this special and meaningful day together as a family and this morning I'm going to share with all of you from Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 1 to verse 6 a simple story about God's people, God's promise, and how that these promise are being available for us through Jesus. So I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 9, uh, verse 1 onwards. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the future, he will honour Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's booth used in the battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us, a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In this passage, long time ago, this group of people, the Israelites, they are God's people. They were going through a very tough time. They're living in a time where uh, it's dark and it's gloom, all right? And people are rejecting God. You know, they were being oppressed. They were feeling angry. They're feeling despair and feeling hopeless. But in the midst of all that they are going through came a promise from God, a very powerful promise, a promise that gives them hope, a promise that helps them to fix their eyes on God in the midst of all the things that they are going through. And the promise is this, in verse 6, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And what's so amazing of this story is this promise. All right. So these promises are not just for the Israelites that time, all right, but it is also available and it is also valid for us today through Jesus Christ. And yes, you are hearing me right. It is available for you and me and this promise, we are part of the recipient of it. For unto us a child is born, and who is this child? He is to be that wonderful counsellor, that mighty God. He is to be the everlasting father, the prince of peace. And what's so special of this child? He came to bring light when the people is in the darkness. He came to bring blessings and joy when the people is in despair. And he came 
to set the people free when the people is in hopelessness. And a son is given to us. And whose son is he? He is the son of God. And his name is Jesus. And this is the very reason why we are celebrating Christmas. And why is God giving us his son? Because he so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son to us, to you and me. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And why to us? Because we are in trouble. We are in trouble because we, are, we have sinned. And, and sin separates us from God. And where, what is there to hope without God in the picture? Hope will be like just a positive uh, thinking or a positive wishes that we would want to see to come to pass. God sent His Son into the world not to condemn us, not to uh, judge us or to punish us, but He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to you and me, to us, so that through Him we may have eternal life. Eternal life is a free gift from God where you, nothing that we can do, you and me, nothing that we can do can deserve this because of sin. And Jesus, the Son of God, became man, came to die on the cross and rose from the dead to pay the penalty of sin. And this is the very reason that He came. Jesus came to give us this gift, this gift of eternal life. And everyone, everyone can receive this gift through faith means acknowledging Him as our Lord and Saviour. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon His shoulder, and His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Jesus came to give us hope, not just any, any hope, but a living hope. You know, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, it says that, Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into the inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. Jesus made it possible, and it is through Him that we are able to have this living hope, a hope that never perish, a hope that never spoil, a hope that never fade, a hope that is ever living, a hope that is constant, a hope that we are going to be with God eternally. You know, all of us, we are always hoping. We are always hoping for something. We, all, we hope for, um, for those who in the job, we're hoping for a better boss, for a, for a better increment, um, and some of us who are in, 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 in our uh, time of when we are in school or in college or university, we hope that we have a better results. And, and then when you graduate, we hope that we have a better job, a better future. And at this moment, we are all hoping that, that this pandemic can pass faster, that we can go back to normal. We hope that, you know, probably by Chinese New Year, we can celebrate again. We hope that you will have a better 2021. 20, but all hopes that is not anchored in God is never 100% sure and they can expire. But this hope that I'm talking about does not change, does not be being affected of what's going on, what's, what, what's happening, but it is eternal. There's no expiry of it. This hope set us free from worries, from stress, from striving to be hopeful, striving to, to keep that, that, that uh, positive uh, uh, attitude. This hope gives us the contentment, the peace, the joy and assurance. And this, joy bring, this hope brings us the light, the blessing and the freedom. And this hope is in Christ. 
And before I close this morning, I would like to ask the worship team to come to minister to us with this song. And as, as they sing this song, I want you to even, even uh, uh, connect with God and, and begins to reflect on, on what I have shared with you about this eternal life and this living hope that, is, that will never be spoiled, that will never be perished, that will never be fade away. It is constant. celebrating Christmas it may be a bit little a bit of different from how we celebrate usually but that, that doesn't change the fact that Jesus came 2,000 years ago for you and me that doesn't change the fact the truth that he came to make this promise available for you and for me no matter what we're going through even right now, whatever circumstances or situation we are at, that doesn't change the fact and the truth that Jesus is our wonderful counsellor. Jesus is our mighty God. He is our everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. It doesn't change the fact, the truth, that He came to bring us light. He came to give, to bring us blessing. He came to bring us joy. He came to bring us the freedom. And if this is the hope that you're looking for, for this Christmas, then I want to encourage you to respond to God. This hope, this living hope is for everyone but it's only found in Jesus Christ. And today, if you want to make a decision that you say, I want this hope, I want Jesus to be in my life and I want you to pray this prayer together with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you and I believe that you came 2,000 years ago, came to fulfill the promise and make it available for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I receive this gift of eternal life and I acknowledge you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for coming into my life. Amen. If you have said that prayer, I want to encourage you to, to take some time to click on the link below. We want to get connected with you. We want to uh, know you more. And, uh, or you can even DM us or even uh, send a message to our inbox. All right. We want to celebrate this special day with you. And even as we move forward, let us be reminded that we have this living hope. A hope that will not spoil, that will not fade, that will not change, that is constant. Let us have this hope, a hope with God's purpose in our lives and a hope with God's destiny.
for our life. Let's be excited what's ahead of us. Blessed Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, Pastor Rachel, for sharing with us the wonderful word of encouragement this morning. And now we want to give of our offering. As how God is pleased as we give our best. And one of the ways that we can give our best is through our offering. Now, we can give our offering through the Touch and Go that is before you, the Touch and Go QR code, or through the Maybank account that is before you. But do remember to send in the receipts to the email address that is stated before you too. Let's pray. Lord, we give thanks to you as we come to a time of giving of our offering. We pray that as we give, may it pleases you and may it be used to the extension of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for all of us this morning. I want to thank all of you for joining us throughout the entire service. Now do remember to follow us on our social media. That's our Instagram, YouTube and Facebook because we'll have much more announcements that'll be posted there. So do keep a watch out. So with that, our service has come to an end. God bless and have a blessed Christmas celebration.